Cleaners Mentor Consulting proudly presents another information-specific video in our Steam Trap Maintenance Series. This video is specific to the United Brass Style Trap commonly found in this region. This common design used by many steam trap manufacturers requires three different wrenches to disassemble. The required tools are a half inch, 7 16 inch, and 7 8 inch box end wrench. A hammer with a striking tool can help loosen corroded bolts. It is highly recommended that a replacement gasket or a means of making a gasket are on hand before removing the top. Warning, never loosen any part of the trap unless the steam is shut off and the trap is not pressurized. This is an inverted bucket trap. The one pictured is manufactured by Spirex Sarco, while the trap we will be working with is manufactured by United Brass Works. The trap is made up of a cast iron body, a cast iron top, and a stainless steel valve and bucket assembly. Here is a cutaway showing the passages through the interior of the trap. The top of the trap is bolted to the body with 5 16 inch diameter bolts. The bolts are screwed into the body. This plug provides access to the valve orifice. This is the low pressure side of the trap. Warning, do not attempt any action presented in this video while the steam system to the trap is pressurized. Begin by striking each bolt and the vent plug with the hammer and punch to help loosen the thread. First, the vent plug will be removed. This plug should be removed, Teflon tape applied, and reinstalled when the trap is first placed into service. This makes removal easier later. Before removing the bolts, loosen the bond between the gasket and the metal surfaces by tapping on the edge of the top in a sideways motion. With all the bolts now removed, carefully lift the top while maneuvering it to free the bucket assembly from the body. While holding firmly on the top, move the bucket assembly visually confirming the free movement and the alignment of the valve ball to the seat. Inspect the hinge pin for wear. Now gently push the hinge pin out of the bracket. This will free the bucket. Take a close look at the ball portion of the valve. The ball should show no indication of pitting or wear. The seat half of the valve should be a precise hole with an even edge. There should be no grooving or deterioration. The hole should be free of any buildup of minerals or foreign debris. Inspect the small opening in the top of the bucket. This trap has a small cotter pin inserted to prevent blockage. Now remove the seat from the top of the trap. 
a half inch wrench will fit the seat. To support the top, invert it and bolt it to the body of the trap. Now remove the seat from the top of the trap. A half inch wrench will fit the seat. Inspect the seat and o-ring for deterioration. The hinge bracket is held on by the seat. Note the shiny surface of the seat face. Verify the match of the seat to the ball. The manufacturer of the United Brass Trap offers a complete top assembly rather than a rebuild kit. Lastly, Remove the strainer from the bottom of the trap and inspect it to ensure it is clean and free of debris. Before reassembling the trap, clean the interior of all debris. Teflon tape should be applied to the strainer and the plug to ensure easy removal. The gasket should be inspected for condition and replaced if there is any sign of damage. If the seat and ball of the valve are free of wear, they can be reinstalled. The bucket assembly is reinstalled on the top. Pay close attention to the hinge and the alignment of the seat and ball. The bolts holding the top should be tightened in a cross pattern. They should be hand tightened first, followed in increasing torque evenly with multiple passes. Questions or need parts? Contact Cleaners Mentor Consulting 205-926-7000.